Welcome back to Daytime. Our next guest is one of seven very talented artists and photographers with art displayed at Station Gallery for Black History Month. Her name is Georgia Fullerton. Georgia, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. So tell me about your kind of art. What artist are you? What kind of artist am yes. I? Well, uh, today I'm probably going to tell you something different than I would tomorrow or yesterday, but I am an abstract expressionist artist. So what th that means is that I paint intuitively. I go based on my emotions. A lot of what I create and recreate are based on my emotions, relationships. I think relationships are huge. Um, I have been painting and drawing for years and years, but I'm coming from a background in print. And so today I call myself an expressive arts therapist, but also an expressionistic artist. Now you said you've <laughs> discovered art as a healing stick. What did you mean by that? What I meant by that is, well, by nature, art is therapeutic. Mm -hmm. um, but my journey towards uh, using it as a healing stick came about in my own trauma. I suffered my own trauma years ago, and I found that it was the art that was healing to me. It was something that I could go to to help express what I was feeling inside. And so from there, it started to generate my interest in what else could my art do to help myself and others. Mm -hmm. And that's when I discovered expressive arts therapy. And it really does help others too, even if you're not teaching them art, which you do, if they're just viewing the art, it touches you. I was on your website yesterday and the work you do is astonishing. It's Thank absolutely you. beautiful. Thank you. And you have an exhibit coming up at Whitby Station Gallery. Yeah, uh, it, Station Gallery, that's right. It's on right now, actually. And so it's about Black History Month, and we have a clip. So I'd like to roll that clip now oh. so our viewers can get a look at what the exhibit is all about. Great. It looks beautiful. It's gorgeous. I want to, to see some of the work you've done, and you brought some along. So tell tell me about this piece. Well, the first thing I can tell you is that I typically don't travel with my art materials. So this was an occasion where I was in Jamaica, and I decided I'm going to bring my paints and, and papers and so on. And this piece is one of my abstract expressionist works, and it's called Balancing Power. And like I said, I work intuitively, so I just create the form, whatever comes, whatever arises. And then the most exciting part probably is titling it and seeing how people respond to it. So that's one of the small watercolors that I completed in Jamaica. It's um, beautiful. Thank Let's you. take a look at this next one that's sure. full of life and color. This one was actually painted in Cuba. First time traveling to Cuba uh, for my 50th and uh, painted by the sea. A lot of beautiful colors and inspiration to go by not only the cars but the buildings and just the vibe so that piece is called fluidity I love it and you're right I just got back from Cuba I was there nice. a couple of weeks ago and it does you did capture it in this picture that feel yeah and last picture the last one um, this one was also created in Jamaica uh, part of the small series that I did I titled this one out of many one out of many, sorry. And because the motto for Jamaica is out of many, one people. So that's another abstract piece that I completed there. I think they're fun and, and they're questionable and interesting. I was just about to ask you when you became an artist, but then suddenly I remembered when I was on your website last night, mm -hmm. you show a piece of paper, which was a letter I think your mom had written to your father, <laughs> and you <laughs> put a little doodle on this, and you were two years old? I was two years old. My father was up here in Canada first because they're both educators or retired educators, and at the time my mother and the rest of the family was still in Jamaica. She used to write love letters back and forth, wow. and this particular one she showed me at about age 11. And she said, Georgia, look at this. Uh, you wanted to write a little note to your dad, and there was a little scribble there. And so I kind of squealed, and I said, look, I was an artist from then. <laughs> so, you can't leave your mark very yes, early on. Yes. So. And so what would you inspire people about going to view the art at the Station Gallery? 
It is a wonderful, wonderful exhibition. Um, curator Oleks Lysenko uh, has done an amazing job. And I think one of the things you should notice when you go there, not only are the pieces arranged, color coded almost, yeah. but there is an actual rhythm. I when think you look people around. should go and check this they out. Should. Check out the rhythm. And up next, we have musician Gareth Burgess and Keith Bindale. Stay with us. I like how you see them.